Hi guys! So in a video of mine that I put up a couple weeks ago, I mentioned that I was potty training my two and a half year old. And so I had a couple people ask me to do a video on how I potty train. I just start off by saying I'm not a potty training expert, I'm just a mom, but I have potty trained five kids. Just as a disclaimer, this is just strictly advice on and um, just what the things I did to potty train. And my most recent one I just potty trained, obviously, is my two and a half year old Emma. So I will just do this based off of my experience with her since hers is the freshest in my memory. I started potty training her about three weeks ago and it took me probably five days to get her to where she wasn't having really any accidents. Since the fifth day, it's now been almost two weeks and she hasn't had a single accident, bless her heart. I don't know if she's, it's probably just because she's a pretty good kid. <laughs> not anything that I did. I am not a miracle worker by any means. <laughs> the first thing that I do when I'm getting ready to potty train is I just look for signs that they're ready to be potty trained. And some of those signs I look for are, are like, if I'm noticing that their diaper has dry periods where it's not like wet all the time, or if they're telling me they're wet, or a big one is if they're telling me that they're poopy. If they're telling you that, that's a pretty big sign that they're aware of their bodily functions. Another sign is if they just kind of show an interest in the potty, they notice when others are going, or they want to, to sit on it. Sometimes I'll just sit them on there before I potty train just so that they can, you know, have the feel of being on the potty. Another thing is, is just like their maturity level. Um, Cause if they're not ready, it's gonna be a big bust and it's only gonna frustrate them and frustrate you and it's just gonna prolong the process in the future. So right before I get ready to start, oh, and one other thing I might add is once you decide to do it, don't stop because that will just confuse them. It's hard, you're gonna have the first couple days, you're gonna be like, what am I thinking? Just throw the diaper back on them. It's so much easier just to change the diaper, but don't do that. It's, it'll just only make the situation worse. So once you start, just don't give up. Just keep pressing forward. You just have to really dedicate a good few days to a week of doing this. And once it's over, then you're free of the diapers till either you have a next child or if it's your last one, forever. But in the beginning, what I do is, and I don't know how every parent feels about this. Sorry, that's my dog. <laughs> I don't know how every parent feels about this approach, but for me, I like to reward them. And what I do, well, what I did with Emma is since we just had Easter a little bit before, I just got an Easter basket, got some of the plastic eggs, and I just put either like a Hershey Kiss or a Starburst, just one. And each egg and then I filled the basket up so that and I used those for when she peed and every time she peed she get to pick a little plastic egg out and get the candy from inside the poop it's a little bit harder for them to to get them to do that for the first time so with her I just bought a little it was like a five dollar a little Minnie Mouse figure from Walmart like a little purse and a couple just little accessories with it because she loves Minnie Mouse so that was like a huge incentive for her to to do that poo for the first time and when she did that she got her little Minnie Mouse toy. What I find that is helpful for me when I first am starting is I will look for a morning when I get them up or when they wake up that their diaper is dry because then I know okay they've got a full bladder in there from the night this will be a good time to get them to try to sit on the potty and release that urine. In the beginning I always use one of the little potty chairs. I just think they're so convenient because for me um, I can just put the potty chair wherever they are and in fact the first couple days that I potty train all I do is I just put them in a loose top I don't even put bottoms on them they just run around bare but I have a top on them that kind of covers so they're not just exposing themselves all day but I just leave them bare and I have the potty chair wherever they are whatever room they're in that potty chair is in that room and so for the first day when I first notice they're dry when they get up in the morning I'm like okay this is my chance and so what I did with her is when I noticed that, I got the potty chair out, I explained to her, I said, when you need to pee pee, you need to sit on the potty and you pee in there. 
and not on the floor, not in her pants, even though she didn't have pants on. And the first time that I did that, she went running over there and sat on that potty and went. Now, that doesn't mean that she didn't have any accidents after that. The, probably the next two times that she peed, went straight down her legs all over the floor. But luckily we have wood floors through our whole house, so it was really easy to clean up. But for the next two times, she peed all over down her legs and all over the floor. But that was like her attention getter, like, whoa, I can't do this, you know? So after that, she was really quick and good about going in on the potty. And what I do, because you can't really leave it up to a two and a half year old to just go sit on the potty when they need to go. They haven't learned that yet. They've just always been used to just releasing it when they need to go and not even thinking about it. So what I do in the beginning, probably for the first couple days, is I set the alarm for every, or timer, for an hour and a half. And every hour and a half, I set them on the potty get them to release their bladder. That way they kind of learn the feeling of being able to release it on demand. And then after a couple days of that, then I move the timer to every two hours. And so that kind of helps teach them to be able to release it on demand. And eventually it'll get to where they'll hold it longer. Like now it's been a couple weeks and she holds it for probably two and a half hours before she needs to go. I'm just trying to think if there's any other things I do as far as the urination goes. Oh, so after about two days of that being bare, and you really you just have to stay home. You can't go anywhere, you just have to stay home and just be on them every hour and a half to two hours all day. Then after the second, or yeah, probably about the second day, then I put underwear on. And she did really awesome the first and second days. I know she had, she had a couple accidents in the very beginning, like I mentioned. But the third day, I put the panties on her, and the third day was a mess. She kept peeing in them, and it was almost kind of, I was like two steps forward, like three steps back. But it, that's just kind of normal, because at first it's like a novelty. They're like trying to pee every 30 minutes so they can get a treat, or just because it's fun for them. So they kind of regress after a couple days. So you, that's the day when you just have to really push through it, and you're like, okay, I just have to stick with it. So by the, like the fourth, fifth day, she really just got the peeing down. She was telling me when she needed to go. She was going over to the potty chair and sitting on it by herself and going without me even having to tell her. And she wasn't having any urination accidents. She wasn't peeing in her pants at all. But the poo was a little bit more of a struggle. It usually is for most kids because it's just a little bit more uncomfortable for them to sit on that and do that business. <laughs> it is for everybody. <laughs> But the first day that I got her to do that in the potty, and it's kind of almost like you just have to watch them like a hawk and catch your chance. And she happened to be, um, I was in the bathroom doing my hair, and I had the potty chair in there because she was in there with me and just kind of playing around. All of a sudden I noticed her go stand between the toilet and the tub, and she just kind of got this look on her face like, you know, she needed to go. and. I could just tell. And so I was like, no, 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 and I'm like, don't do it on the floor. Like, let's rinse on the potty. And so I whipped her onto the potty chair and sat her down. And I mean, because it was like starting to come out. And it came out in the potty chair and we did this big celebration dance. And she was so excited and she got her mini toy. And it was, she just thought she was so big. So that first peel, you just have to really just watch because you can kind of, you know, see the signs of them needing to go. And then the second day was kind of the same thing. I just noticed her getting that look like she needed to, so I hurry and went and stuck her on the toilet, and the same thing. She did it the second day too, with no problems at all. And that day I just gave her a candy. I didn't give her any other toys. But the third day, we when we had the panties on, she had a bunch of accidents with the poo. And that was kind of an eye-opener to her. I'm like, see, this is really gross. This is nasty. We don't do this in our pants. We do it in the potty. And it kind of just brought that attention to her, like, ooh, this is really gross. And I, she knew that it was because she just, you could tell she was really uncomfortable and she didn't like that. By the fourth day, she wasn't going poo in her pants, but she was like holding it, like only a little bit would come out. And then she would just freak out, like, she knew that she wasn't supposed to go in her pants, but she didn't want to sit on the potty and go. So for the fourth day, we really struggled. She was like holding it all day long. 
and then um, finally just got to the point where she just couldn't pull it any longer and had to go. And after that fifth day, that kind of was like, she just was the climb over the hill. After that, she just was like, hey, that really isn't that bad. And by the sixth day, she was going in the potty and but she kind of would like not fully do it all the way. She would just do like a little bit because I think it still kind of like was scary to her, but yet she knew not to go in her pants. So about the sixth, seventh day is when the poo really, she just really caught on to that. So after about five, six, seven days, she fully caught on to everything and was doing awesome. And like I said, she hasn't had any accidents since then. And some kids are different. Some kids catch on quicker than others. It really is just an individual thing. I've had, most of my kids have been really easy. I had one that was super ornery that we had to go as far as giving them an enema because they would hold it in forever because they were so afraid to go. And so it just depends on the child. Some are easier than others and some have a harder time. And like I said, I think it really kind of just depends on their maturity level, the signs that they're ready. And as far as the rewards go, I only gave her the candy rewards for peeing for the first three days. And then after that, she didn't even really ask for it anymore. At first she was like, I get an egg now, I get an egg. Um, but after that, she didn't really ask for it. And then with the poo, I only gave her the mini toy for the first time just to kind of, you know, let her know that, hey, this is a good thing. This is, you know, I'm a big kid. And yeah, so she is now potty train and it's great and I'm so glad that I stuck with it because I wanted to get it done before summer started. I think it's harder in the summer. We're so busy in the summer and that's the last thing you want to do is be stuck in the house and potty train your child. I can't think of anything else as far as tips. Just the fact that you just, you know, watch for signs, make sure they're ready, be patient, don't give up because this it's a learning thing for them. They've never known any different than just going in their pants. Just be patient with them and I don't know, I hope this helped. I don't know. I just had a couple moms ask me to do this video and so I don't know. I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions for me or maybe something that I didn't mention, you know, because I sometimes I get on here and I can't think of everything. I should have written it down so I could like have notes but I didn't so this was just all off my head. So. If you have any questions that you uh, have for me, please just comment down below. Let me know. I will answer them. Okay, so I guess that does it for this video. I hope I helped, like I said before, and good luck to any of you moms if you are getting ready to potty train or you're in the process of it. I promise there's a light at the end of the tunnel and they will get potty trained. They will not wear diapers forever. And I thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.